Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to the Disco Elysium playthrough. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, jumped on here, so I'm eager to get back in. Um, looking forward to it. Um, so, I'm trying to think where we got in last episode. So, I think last episode we discovered the entity. Yes, we did. So, let's let's just quickly go back up there. So... We, yeah, we discovered the entity, um, and basically it's, it's a it's a lady making dice, like uh, like role playing board, like tabletop RPG dice. Um, she's a very nice lady, actually. Uh, she's managed to withstand the curse of this building, um, and I think she's just you know, oh, it's just a again. humble dice maker. Are you looking for a um, Yes. Now look. There's this. Why hasn't her business failed? What is she... Maybe she's doing something suspicious. But I'm not sure. Um, because this... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pass that. Um, unless I get a critical... Double six. Um, but anyway. What I did ask her was... Let's see. What do you know about the lynch man behind the whirling in rags? Yeah, so I asked her about this. Um, the lieutenant looks at his notebook. The window the, looks the directly woman, out the onto the window. yard. Your window looks directly yeah. onto the courtyard. You're saying you didn't see or hear anything unusual last Sunday evening? I'm sorry, detective, but no, she as didn't. you know, I usually have my headphones on when I'm So working. there's a, a lot of it ruckus about... Most of the daily ruckus behind my window. Daily well, ruckus? There's always something going on in the whirling's backyard. During daytime, there are usually those kids. And lately, I've been seeing a lot of drunk workers hanging about. Must be because of the strike. She's heard of the murder, but did not see it, sire. But I never saw anyone during that fateful Sunday night, I'm afraid. So, um, and you never took your eyes off the work to look out the window. Do you work on Sunday nights? It's an odd profession, making dice for people. But I like it, and I prefer doing this to sitting at home. Did you I ever look have, out the window? But in this case, all I would have seen is my own reflection staring back from the darkness. It's light here, but dark in the yard at night. It's really hard to make anything out in the yard when it's dark outside. Besides, I rarely get up to look so, at you. Anything else, officer? No, that is all. I don't want to order any dice. So yeah, nice lady. Might be up to something suspicious, let's hope not. Um... But yeah, she didn't see anything sad. Um, however, I'm starting to believe that the the murder is something to do with the workers' stri strike. Oh, dumbbells! I don't want to lift those. So, yeah, I think it's something to do with the workers' strike because I, I have a feeling everyone's been like locked in here. So it's like it's got to be someone who's here. Um, I think we spoke to her and told her the entity doesn't exist. And also, do by the books, there may be teachings in them. Uh, I talked to the entity. A yeah. novelty dice maker? Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? For some kind of sorcery? Sometimes they use the ankle bones of sheep. Nope, she's just a standard old lady. I don't understand. If it's not her... Then where is the source of the doom? How did she explain the curse? She looks perplexed. The narrative she's built herself, it does need tearing down. Yeah. She's squeezing on the pendant too tight. A drop of blood in her palm. Oh, she is, uh... She's uh, a, a suspicious one. Just don't say you don't have any answer yet. The uncertainty is killing her. To hell with it. Perchance you ought to just lie, sire. Oh, okay, right. What do I want to do? So my suggestion says I need to answer. Drama is saying I need to lie. I'm not sure I want to follow... Hmm. The source is a taxidermy shop. He became involved in art, dark and taxidermy, and brought the void spirits down upon this place. She says there is no curse because there are too many inconsistencies. Honestly, I don't have an answer yet. There is still leads to be followed, like the strange 
radio computer thing. Oh, that is true. There is another entity more malignant pulling the strings in Martinese. Perhaps my travels, I will cross paths with it. I'm, I'm going to go with the honesty. You're telling me that you went in there and didn't find out anything about the curse? Of course. Yeah. I should have known better than to put my hopes on a man like you. You're no simony. The investigation's Ooh. over. I don't want you going in there anymore. You're only angering the psychic weather in here. Now, if you're not going to buy anything... Wow. Total psychic collapse between you two right now. Yeah. There was never any other way this could have gone. She's just too far gone into her own mind. I am sorry we had to disappoint you, ma'am. Can we go now? Yep. Yeah. Let's leave. Okay, right, well. I mean, there isn't a curse. There's no curse. It's just a failing business. Okay, right, we got a skill point. So, recently, or not recently, but my skill points, I've been putting them into memories. Which I feel, you know, these give you buffs, so I feel like these are pretty good. But I only have five. So I'm not going to put one into it yet. So. I, oh my god, I've got minus three authority. Jesus. Um, okay, I think I want to improve my... Uh, what what keeps coming up and I'm like, ugh. Um, how do I overview? A high levels rhetoric will make you an impressive political beast. Ones who beliefs are impenetrable. Which say ones who will not change once you clarify. With low rhetoric though, you'll have a hard time shooting down any argument. See, rhetoric is good. But I really fucked one with um, empathy. Where's empathy? Is it? Yeah, empathy. I really fucked an empathy one. I feel like empathy is an important. I think I'm going to go with empathy. It's an important thing for a detective to be able to be empathetic, emp emp yeah, and uh, and know what, what what the people want or know how they're feeling, etc. So I'm going to go with empathy. Right, let's unequip the torch and let's keep the ledger. Does, is this what's giving me minus two authority? Unbelievable. Right. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's nine o'clock. This means we can go to bed. Yes? Me? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Yeah, no, we haven't actually asked about Kimmy yet. Well, we better have a better report. Mm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation. What do you want to know? Uh, you don't look like the other people around. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. Mm. It's a what part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Well, that is interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Okay. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. I want to know more about Seol. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. Oh. I'm a regular of Evachelier. A point of pride to him. Yeah. Uh, okay, Good. I'm going to conclude that for now. Let's change the subject. Uh, uh, I will keep asking about him. But it's nine o'clock now. Which means it's night time. Which means... I still can't get close to the body. 
because I do have ammonia now. There he still is, looking <sighs> right through you with 8%. his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. I mean, it's just so low. <clears throat> I mean, should I try it? Because I could put another point into endurance. Let's do it. Actually, no, let's let's try and increase my endurance first. There must be items around here. Oh. Right. Um, can I... So, it is 9 o'clock now, so I wonder if I can go to bed. But first, actually, I'm going to go and speak to um, the rich lady. I can't remember her name, but she was very nice. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna go chat to her. Oh, there was the man smoking cigarettes. I need to speak to him at some point. What's that? Looks like there's been construction here once decades ago. Docking reserve for residents of Arude Saint Galen 338. Right. Wait. You're back. Yes. Good. What can I help you with? So, I have more questions about reality. More lessons in basic reality? My favorite part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. Right. Plus 12, because I completed that thought. Uh, what, I what is reach for something fundamental? What is all of this? The scent, the sound. The air. What world is this? What world? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter. And its pale antipode. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. What do you see? Great bodies of water. Forest-covered surfaces. Clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. She concludes. There is a term of endearment they coined for it in the DeLorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these archipelagos included. What is it? Elysium. Elysium? It does. There are those who would call it hell. What is hell? A term of hatred that originates, like many such things, with the Mesk Petro fascists. I don't, I definitely don't have the full picture oh, yet. You want a picture of the world? There is no complete set yet, dear. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. Hmm. Great things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, sideways. <laughs> What shape is it? We used to think it was a sphere, but that is beginning to look less and less likely by the day. You wouldn't know it from the tabloids, but the ORG nations have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere oh. since the 30s. Is it flat? ORG, Occident Remishaw Grad. There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three scientific contributors, they're piecing together a dark gray corona. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pale covers 72% of the surface. There are grey flares and prominences, even arcs above entire isolas. The images are blurry, but if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. Oh. Yeah, what the hell are you telling me? You seem to be spooked. Please don't be. The pale and what do you mean, corona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. Okay. I am sorry, dear. 
It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. But this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut, bring us together, however naive it may sound. Yeah, that doesn't, the French current doesn't sound like it's You have misimagined it. I don't have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's, it's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You'd love it. Well, if you say it's disco. See, everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world, however wasted its opportunities. Suddenly. You're conscious of yourself standing there, on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. The lieutenant observes you both, silently. He adjusts his glasses. Okay. Thank you. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything else? Uh, uh, yeah, can you tell me about Everything. the strike? Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. Oh, have I asked her about this? W wait, what if I want to hear about trade First, secrets? you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. How do I repel it? Why? By throwing off half a century of foreign domination under the Coalition. Unfortunately for you, Damn. the Coalition also leases you the right to police West Revachol. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. Yeah. But I am d <clears throat> You wanted to know about the strike. Yeah, what's your role in I it? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the Union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines counteroffer. Ah. Uh. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The Union stopped all negotiations a week ago, after that awful lynching took place. Ah, oh, shit. Wait. She just admitted that the lynching and the strike are connected. Yeah. Oh, the plot thickens. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a 2 meter 20 racist behemoth blocking the gates. Yes, I've, I've seen him. Yes, I believe there is a connection, but that's a subject for later. Later? Yeah, tell us about what the What can I say? The Union employs a giant covered in tattoos. I've a seen racist him. giant. I guess that's part of their big tent organization now. Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. Mm. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time the demands plan? are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. God, the cheek of them. Ludicrous, even. It's meant. Okay. Uh, what, yeah, what are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. What did they say again? Oh, yes. Every worker, a member of the board. Oh dear, that's not gonna work. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, over aggressive commie posturing. Uh, yeah, it seems like they have no idea about business. In its defense, another said, demand democracy. Pretty tame stuff compared to every worker, a member of the board. Yeah, I mean, that is very communist. It's quite simple, you see. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about what? About anything, really. It needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Yeah, that's never going to work. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. The workers can't be kings. The king is king. The king is dead. Long live the workers. Um, I mean, it is, it is quite funny. You know, let's say they wanted to pass. <laughs> oh, but then the kings couldn't get richer. Yeah, fuck the rich. That may well be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but mm. as negotiations go, it's not a swell start. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up. Just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Mm. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. This checks out. <laughs> um, call me manana. I think I've met that person. Uh, the scabs of the gate, yeah, did she put them the there? scabs? You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock? come to plead for work where the union refuses to. Oh, I shouldn't have called them scabs. Don't let her answer it herself. I don't know what got into me. Some of the degenerate dot workers lingo is rubbed off on me. Let's call them strike breakers. You put them there, right? Yeah, let, let's go with that. If these strike breakers were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, then it would be a company secret. Ah. I could not share it with you. Not yet, at least. Okay. It's implied. She's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. Mm. Okay. Uh, what happened to the last... Mr. Clare rep? told him to... How did he put it? Fuck off, midget. <laughs> Go on to his shorter stature, you see. Okay, then. <laughs> yes. Keep in mind, this is a negotiator. Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the union. Yeah, okay. Uh, tell me about Mr. Clare. Everard Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Really? Of course not. Everard oh. is fantastically <laughs> corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Is he that bad? He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, oh more dear. irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. So, Evra and Edgar. Wait, there's two of them? Yes. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Evra does, and when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. Mm, okay. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled uh, God knows how much of their workers' dues. They're playing the game. They're playing the system. Sorry. Cheeky pricks. What about the union itself, outside the Brothers Clare? Yeah. The Daybarders Union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. They did it. I can respect that. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The Brothers Clare came and transformed it into a... How do you say? 
she hesitates, looking for the right expression. A mob. The debarders are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Hmm. Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Evrat and his brother. Mm. And your opinion, detective? If I may ask? I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Debardeurs Union is... An effective advocate for the right of local working men. A giant leech sucking the life out of Revachol. Basically a socialist mob. I prefer to have an... I prefer not to have an opinion on these things. Right, so let's just let's just recap before I answer this. Uh, so there's Edgar. The day the day the union was once a perfectly normal institute twenty years ago anyway, it must not have been easy as established under the Emergency Act, but they did it, I can respect them. Organised labour at its best, as they say. There's something happened in local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into how do you say? Yeah, they do sound like a bit like a mob. Hmm. But who do I want to agree with? I mean, there's two. You know, I, I mean, the, these these Edgar Edgar and Everard, they sound corrupt as fuck, and they're playing the system. Socialist mob. Thank you for being candid. Sadly, Wild Pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades. However much you feed the wolf, the wolf always hungers. One more thing. You said something happened in the elections. I'm glad you asked. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the Union. She disappeared. Ooh. Disappeared? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore, or coming to work, ever. End of story. Oh, this fool. Her name? Yeah. Sadly, the company records do not even give a name. Oh. She's just four women in private correspondence. Holly, I don't even know if it's a sir or given name, and I don't have access to the union's files. Mm, some kind of extortion. Indeed. The company suspects foul play, but there's nothing they could do. It was a union matter. The point of the presentation is, these kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Thank you for your concern. Okay. Yeah, thank we'll you. be just fine. Of course. How else can I help? That's all for now. Thank you. Right. Oh, what's anything in here? Oh, magnesium. Lovely. Okay, so yeah, the lynch and the strike are connected. Oh, we're finally we're getting the details now. So Edgar and Avard, Claire, are leaders of. The union. Now the union seems to be a corrupt. You know they, they've they've corrupted the uh, election so that they are always in power. Sounds like they use that power to get what they want. But you know they are helping the people. You know they the people. Oh look, they they've gone. It's bedtime. The people didn't even have bloody health cover before and now they do so you know that is that is a good sign oh I have not been all the way down here before or have I well anyway I think it's bedtime um yeah they didn't even have bloody health cover and now they do fire well, rises from the sewer sour acidic strangely comforting um but I don't like rigged elections you know, it's not, it's not, not good. Um, I think we need to go and speak to the, uh, the Claire's. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, is there a disco? 
The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme, used on everything from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. Uh, Clinging to the picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. Hmm. Yeah. The yeah. contemporary period stands still. Oh, the fated carousel of history that doomed the royalists is itself winding down. Our time is decelerating. Ooh, there's a lot more people to talk to now. And there's a disco. Right, you know what this you know what this means? This means I need to get my disco trousers on. Disco Close. Drama. Oh. Yeah, let's let's get this on instead of physical in Oh no, actually physical you know, I can sing better. Okay. We haven't been in here. Ooh. Kitchen. The dishes are drying, they smell all chemicals and pine trees. An aroma of spice and alcohol. And tomato hangs in the air. Nice. Oh, money. <laughs> What's this? Photos of men in overalls. Toting guns and union placards. <coughs> <coughs> so, the chef. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. What's in here? I wonder where this door leads. It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Out of duty, we may find something impertinent to the investigation. Mm. Yes, I suppose yes. it's worth seeing if we can get in. Just to be thorough, as a side investigation. Always a main investigation will merge into a stereo investigation. Let's go a mini side Guard investigation. Guard is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Mm. Let's touch the door. The cobalt the blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Oh. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted, maybe. It leads to a side building, adjacent to this one. No. Oh. The old building next to this, half ruined. Whatever is behind it must be older. Let's try push it. The door does not budge. Interesting. I wonder if I have any... Oh, I don't have to equip keys, I just have keys in my pockets. Right, uh, can I chat to this person? No, I can't. Ooh. I'll take that healing item. Oh, that's more money. More money! Get the money, get the money. Oh, is there, oh there's a whole room back there. But the room isn't open. I can't actually speak. Oh, I can speak to this guy down here. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary eyed with joy. Oh. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Oh, pretty long. Is it drink o'clock? No, not oh, now. Excuse me. Do you have something better to do than lust for sweet, syrupy rum and lemonade? Oh. With a twist of lemon? Maybe lie. Maybe who cares? Just rum. <laughs> Maybe I should lick it before I go. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Your Mesolimbic reward pathway is going wild at the thought. Lick it, lick it, lick it. Your <sighs> sets chance. Lick it. Calmly, the lieutenant looks out of the window. Then to you, licking the tasty rum stain off the window. <laughs> then out of the window again. What are you doing? <laughs> Investigating. You, you could definitely go for some more. 
The titillating scent of alcohol in your nostrils was beautiful. Oh my god, I licked the counter fucking clean. What the fuck is wrong with me? It's all about money, you know. You got to spend money to make money. You're dead right there, mate. Sleeping dock worker. Ah! <coughs> oh, he's part of the union. Wearing mud-caked boots rolled down overalls, the back of his shirt reads "Wild Pines," encircled by a logo of the trees. With a tree. A colourful piece of plastic is dangling from his carabiner. Oh! Mm. Makes your fingers itch. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand. You see a blister pack of headache medicine. <sighs> the man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Yoinked! We've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen, above your character portrait. Use magnesium, Use magnesium to, heal. to heal your morale, if you have morale damage. Okay. Inspect the piece of plastic on his carabiner. It's a dock worker's ID, doubling Ooh. as a shift card and a job permit. A young, able-bodied man stares back at you from the photo. Santiago S. John. Okay, let me let me get those gloves on. Cause I need to make sure I where's my cursor? Here it is. Oh, he's... The worker is in a deep slumber. He's never gonna expect the fucking slippery hands in the in the marigolds getting there. Your fingers find Boom! only into the shackle, flicking open its spring loaded gate. The metal loop holds the plastic ID and a leather bound pocketbook. Ooh -hoo -hoo. The man emits a loud snore. Is he about to wake up? Doesn't look like it, but you never know. Better be quick. Steal the document. You slip the plastic ID card out of the loop and pocket it. The man continues to snore. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Just for the record. You look nothing like the man on the document. Let's swipe through the pocketbook and take what's inside. You find a black paper note with a woman's Ooh, profile on it. Seems like this woman lived centuries ago. The note says, five, real. It feels nice and greasy. Ooh. Yum, yum. Money. Think of all the things you can buy with this. The synapses in your brain fire with glee. I'm not going to consider if the lieutenant can see me, so I'm just going to close the The sleeping carabiner. dock worker has little to say about your actions. He remains silent. And let's leave it there. Right, uh, I just need to go, but I'll be back in a jiffy.
Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. Right. Okay. So we've just we've just committed a crime. We've just committed theft. But standard issue dot worker shift card doubling as a worker's permit. The bottom left corner holds a picture of the man. This item used the wrong to the two of you look nothing like. Just so you know. Tell you what, I can fetch a pretty, pretty price that. Fartonese, handwritten note from the fridge. Okay. Disco. Who's. This feels right. You belong here. I love disco. Right, let's speak to Gart. We we are on sort of semi good terms with Gart because of the Doctor Love quest, which man, I, I fucked you? up. Here's your trash container key. Oh yeah, I'll give him that. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. Just trash. As it should be. Anyway, thank you for returning my key. I've seen something here about the whirling. I've seen something here at the Whirling. Got a thing a thing I need to talk about. Okay. What thing? I saw a sign that said the mess hall was reserved for the Union. Yes, not the whole damn Union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He turns his head and he tosses his head into disdain. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. Ooh, unlike me. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Mm. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even men on strike. Nice. You glance at the clock on the wall behind the manager. Huh. Hmm. Might have missed them. Good question. <laughs> They're probably getting drunk or protesting something somewhere or laying low after the, you know, lynching. Oh, why is that, Lagarde? Why is that? They probably fucking killed that guy or something, and that's mm. why. Hmm. I have a feeling we'll make their acquaintance sooner or later. And there's a mysterious blue steel door in the back of the kitchen. Oh, yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Do you know what's behind it? Do you have... No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just the frick warehouse, probably. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. Um, let's let's not let's get him to pretend he's indeed. He looks at the dust on his finger and wipes it off. What? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Mm. Goodbye. So I wonder when reserved from four that they're not here. Hello again, sweetie. Um Yeah, let's You see a heavy steel door. The door does not but hmm. Maybe I need to interrogate Gart. Let's head upstairs. Maybe there's something I can get up to up here. That's my room. Can I not knock? No. Can I knock on this one? The door is closed. Still nothing. <coughs> the door gives you a quick glance. 
This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Okay, fine. Ooh. What's this? Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. I really don't remember anything, do I? What's this? Oh, money. Take it all. Thank you. Right, let's let's go find where these union workers are, because it would be good to interrogate them. Are they still over here? That's the question. They are. What was this guy's name again? Right to work. Scab right leader. To work. Shame on you. Yeah. And this guy was was this uh, he was pretty friendly. <laughs> Hold on, wandering man. Yeah, come on. How can I help you? So I wonder if I can get my security key to work. Ah, do I? Right. Measurehead is a powerful man. Measurehead is law. I guess that guy, the, he's Measurehead. So, where is my thing? Ledger of Fadia and Hatred. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the board with the permit. I'm going to unequip the ledger because I think it gives me minus authority. It does give me minus authority. Okay. And I want... What does the big coat give me? Does this give me plus one suggestion? Do I want drama or physical instrument? I think I'm. Gonna, I think I'm want, gonna want drama. I'm gonna want to lie to these people. Do I want to talk to them now? Or do I want to talk to them later? Can I knock on this door? Can I go in here? No. Okay, let's have a chat to him. Your buddy betrays your degeneracy. Measurehead. Yeah, Measurehead. Measurehead's body babe. totally betrays his degeneracy. The young woman at the giant side agrees. Uh, what do you mean by my body betrays my degeneracy? You have succumbed to Al Ghul. Al Ghul? His face contorts and disgusts if he was smelling a dead rat. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It Wait. is making the woman in my company sick. Oh. Ah, oh, it's because I'm an alcoholic. I'm going to go smell your breath. Kim is really it's not so good. bad. Oh dear. It's like a rat crawled into your stomach, got drunk and drowned. Uh, Al Ghul? I assume this is something to do with alcohol. Yes, Al Ghul. It means alcohol. Oh, understood. I doubt it. My microcephalic race, so.
I don't have a problem with alcohol, I just drink little on weekends. Your mouth moves, but the one who speaks is Al Ghul. You are but a vessel for the ghoul now. Very little Very of, little of, yourself, of yourself remains. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the ham sandwich race is waning. Ham sandwich race. It's clear. I'm not drunk, I'm a cop. I just have a drink every now and then and everyone does. I'm not gonna try and um I'm not gonna try and uh say I'm not gonna say that. Because it just makes you sound like more of an alcoholic. I was gonna say this race stuff is unimportant here. I just need you to help me to do my job. Begging for help. Attempting to pass fear for cooperation. How far the Occidental Aplo Group has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. You dominated lesser cultures like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. Disco. You will be superseded. Isn't that right, babe? It is, baby, yeah. You know it. There is a button right behind him, just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. Come on, I just need you to move about 20 centimeters back. Push him out of the way. This is going nowhere. We should think about calling it today, maybe. Nights are still miserably cold this time of year. I haven't paid for the cafeteria manager's damages yet. You should take care of that, then. But I don't have any money. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the street. We'll figure something out. Okay. Let's head back to the cafeteria. And we can sleep on it. Try and get past that. Oh, look, he's gone. Maybe he's in the canteen. I don't want to go down the stairs. Nope. Down the stairs. Nope. Down the stairs. There we go. I'm out. Oh, look. Yeah, people from the union have... 10 o'clock. Maybe I can get into the... Get into the cafeteria and speak to some loose-lipped... Oh, no, they're still closed. Damn. Right, okay, we will end this episode here. And uh, we'll uh, jump straight back into it, I reckon. I'll see you in the next episode.